Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you guys here. So today we are doing a pick a card reading for you guys and this pick a card topic is why do people feel threatened by you? All right. So we have three options for you. Pile one, pile two, pile three. You can choose all three options. You can choose two options. You can choose one option. The ball is totally in your coat, my lux. All right. Do check out my description box for my Patreon link in case you're interested in um, checking out my exclusive pick a card readings that are uncensored, that are very juicy. Okay. I pick out topics which are very original. Uh, I don't see those topics very usually on, you know, like on YouTube and things like that. So do check it out if you want to check out my other um, services that I offer. All right. And um, you can also book me for personal readings. Uh, my Etsy shop link is also in the description box below. Uh, you can also check out my PayPal in case you resonate with my messages and would like to give back. You would like to donate to my channel. You can do that as well. Uh, you can also check out my Amazon wish list. So in case you want to donate tarot decks and oracle decks to my channel, you can do so through my description box, my loves. All right. So now, now we'll dive into your reading. I'll see you in your piles. Peace. All right. So pile one. Let's see what about you makes people feel threatened by you. How do you threaten people? Pile one. How does pile one threaten people? Exhausted. Interesting. Hmm. I feel like people feel like they are... Like they are a nobody around you. Like they are... They, they don't matter around you. Okay. I feel like I, I'm seeing you as the sun. Okay. And I feel like you burn so bright pile one that you make people feel exhausted in your presence or you make people feel that you know that they are losers okay i don't know why that's coming through like that but i don't think you're doing it consciously i don't think you are shining so bright consciously it's just your inner light it's your inner self it's your love it's your confidence it's your self assuredness you know you're assured of yourself um your self-worth you know your belief in yourself whatever it may be it like shines through very brightly on people it's like people feel exhausted trying to understand you trying to copy you trying to imitate you trying to be like you people really want to be like you but they get exhausted by trying because it's like you constantly keep shifting or you constantly keep changing okay um there's something very different about you every time you do something um which triggers people it threatens people it makes people feel like how dare you do this like <laughs> this is funny pile uh, one all right i think you like exhaust people by changing yourself so often or um the way you present yourself you know in front of people maybe your style keeps changing or the way you do your hair keeps changing or the way you do your work keeps changing there's something that people have to keep up with like people have to keep up with you people have to like observe you but whatever they observe and they try to copy or imitate they fail at it miserably okay but they still try to copy you because again you are this sun right that's how i'm seeing you like you shine a light you know so bright that people want to be a part of it or people want to like copy you or you know try to feel like they are next to you and close to you makes them feel more successful makes them feel more confident okay so people could have tried to steal your light or steal your shine steal your ideas um and this threatens people that they can never copy you or they can never never like successfully achieve the level of um success that you have reached by doing what you do okay so people are threatened by your success people are threatened by your light people are threatened by your confidence your self-esteem your self-assuredness your ability to get back up no matter how exhausted you could be at times no matter how how much people drain you you still become the light you still shine in darkness you also illuminate people's weaknesses or you illuminate how how crooked people are or how um how crippled people are in their own darkness okay 
like you shine a light on how many excuses people can give to their to being in their own darkness damn people feel threatened by this pile one like you either do it consciously or you could do it at times very unconsciously like even you're not aware that you are like doing this you know but you do it <laughs> and people are drained by this like people feel spent by trying to copy you imitate you by trying to be like you they feel like dogs like dogs trying to sniff you trying to like um be around you and love on you in a fake way to try to understand like what's going on with you how do you keep um conquering all the challenges in your life or no matter how many blocks they throw your way you still keep getting back up and you're still resilient even through struggles like you don't give up you don't back down you constantly keep getting up you constantly keep winning how dare you win pile 1 okay so people are threatened by this people are threatened by how you can be defeated yet get back up and try again you keep trying again and again it doesn't matter what stage you are at in terms of being defeated okay you could be completely fatigued and drained but you still get back up and you pop out there like you know and you still bring light to people you still bring joy to people in some way shape or form you still bring happiness in people's lives okay wow that's deep pile one that's deep let's see pile one spirit how does pile one threaten people i'm telling you inadequate i'm telling you people feel threatened because they feel inadequate in front of your light right in front of your light people feel like this dog here like they they are being exposed or their weaknesses are being exposed or them not being enough is being exposed them being worthless is exposed you know them being inadequate like if you can do it pile one and they are still not able to like they still have excuses on like why they are not successful in life or what they are doing in order to um not focus on you know how they can accomplish certain goals or be on their you know tasks i feel like people feel threatened by like how much you can carry by yourself how much worth you have how much self worth you have how competent you are with yourself you are your own competition you don't compete with others but these people want to compete with you they want to target you and compete with you and make you feel inadequate make you feel like you are not worthy of whatever you have um create obstacles in your life create situations which make you feel ill equipped to move on to move forward in life they bring on baggage and burden in your life because they constantly feel threatened by how much can you pull you know how much more can you take pile one let me throw this at at on your road let me throw this obstacle let me jab you this way let me you know hurt you this way let me be passive aggressive to you this way how are you still not affected by this how are you still shining so bright we are threatened by this we are threatened by your goddamn worth your goddamn ability to like keep getting back up no matter what okay and i feel like you are like a support system to a lot of people because i see this small car carrying such a huge truck here so i feel like you feel very responsible for the people that you love or for the people that you care about and you want to like always keep going so that you can take care of the people you love yeah so that you can take care of the loved ones that you know rely upon you right there could be a lot of people who maybe at times become codependent on you even these enemies i'm picking up these enemies want to become codependent because you're a hard working person you are someone who doesn't back down so these people want to like like be- become codependent on you and steal your hard work and the fruits of your hard work i'm hearing right they want to steal and run away with your hard work but i feel like they can't even pull the weight of what you have done so how is that even fair right <laughs> that's what is coming through we have lonely as well but i'm not taking that uh, lonely interesting so let's see i think you do it all by yourself yeah that's what threatens people like you keep doing it all by yourself you don't need anyone support you don't need anyone to tell you like what to do or where to go or how to be successful like you do it all by yourself you pick the load all by yourself even though you are like exhausted and you're you're like drowning in responsibilities you still keep going okay 
and now you have become like so strong that your light shines bright you know um so some of you are meant to gain like a lot of success in this life people can see that in you because you keep going no matter what you have a lot of discipline in you pile one you have a lot of discipline in you right and that makes you lonely because everyone is not disciplined everyone wants to talk about sweet nothings everyone wants to indulge about like how to destroy other people's lives everyone wants to gossip about like how to take their light how to steal something from them how to make them feel ostracized whereas you are focused on your work you are focused on your task at hand you are focused on what you are going to do next morning you are focused on you know your goals that you need to accomplish today and you're disciplined you're like disciplined to the point that you don't even pay attention to what's going on out there to the gossip in the family to the gossip in the friend group to the gossip in your enemy circle whatever right you don't focus on those things you are alone and you're happy okay and it doesn't even exhaust you like you become stronger and stronger by the day okay so people are threatened by this okay you won't believe what card came out sun again leo energy is coming through very strong you could be a leo here you don't back down pile one like you are stubborn as hell and pe- your enemies or people whoever it is people feel get threatened by this they get triggered by this like damn we can't bring pile one down we can't like shake their happiness and pile one i'm hearing from you that my happiness is in, in my control i don't give the rights of my happiness in anyone else's hands i am responsible for my own happiness i'm hearing from you right pile one so it's it's very difficult for people to like steer you away from your goals steer you away from like what you are meant to accomplish in this life you are very like hell bent on what you want and you go after it at all costs in order to see happiness in people's faces that you love you know you want to bring happiness you want to like you really care a lot about people pile one there's such a big heart that you have you know you would like burn yourself to like love other people you know you would even if it's a cold weather like you would literally i'm that that's what i'm hearing you're very self sacrificing at times like you would just you know sacrifice yourself in order to see others happy um but at the same time it's like that's the reason why you are becoming stronger and stronger so initially you could have felt exhausted with this energy because you had to pull through no matter the obstacles that were against you people that were against you you had to push through but it's like you are burning so bright that there's nothing that can stop you to the point that it, the sun is taking over the whole land here like there's nothing to be exhausted about there's only happiness and joy and laughter that is coming in your life and people f- people who like got threatened by this will feel inadequate to be next to you to stand next to you because they will feel like this literally they will feel like this exhausted like that they are worthless that they are incompetent that they are ill equipped to be next to you that they are fatigued drained and spent to be next to you okay wow at the bottom of the deck we have creative yeah you could be a creative okay you could be extremely creative i told you you come up with like something original or whatever you do creatively is like very very original to who you are it's very quirky it's very um it's it's like a every time you come through with like a new breakthrough or something like that okay and you do it very creatively so people feel threatened by that like people are like damn we can't copy them we can't compete with them you know we can't compete with pile one we can't pull their load we can't do anything we can't steal from them because they know how to take care of their business they are very on point because they have had to go through their own challenges that we threw at them you know so people feel threatened by that people are like damn people are intimidated by this pile 1 okay yeah <laughs> so let's see pile 1 spirit pile 1 pile 1 we have um two of cups in reverse okay wow let's get a few more pile 1 spirit why do people feel threatened by pile 1 okay we have um the wheel okay and we have the fool yeah it's like you start from scratch pile 1 you start from scratch um every time there is a mishap or there's something that happens like i told you your discipline is on point so if something happens where you make a mistake you're not too hard on yourself 
but you can start from scratch again so even if you for example you're a content creator right there's one video that you created which is not on par with how you wanted it to be right you're still okay with that you accept that as a mistake but you make a promise to yourself to not repeat that again and you grow from that you accept your mistakes you know that you can have mis- like you can make mistakes that you have flaws and it's okay to have flaws we are humans at the end of the day but doesn't mean that we can't learn from those mistakes right so you are very quick at learning you're very quick witted when it comes to learning from your mistakes and that is what creates your um creates creates your luck i'm hearing like you create your own luck by learning from your mistakes and not becoming like not becoming too prideful when you are successful and not feeling too low about yourself when you are going through extreme obstacles and challenges right you are learning this fine temperance i'm hearing this fine balance between maintaining neutrality in the face of ups and downs in your life okay and that makes you like this um this risk taker you know you th- that makes you a risk taker that's what i'm hearing and people are threatened by this people are threatened by you taking risks no matter what you know you um also not caring about love i'm hearing so maybe uh, there there have been like people who have been threatened by you even in love like people who have been your like um partners in love or people who wanted to love you either they have wanted you for your your, your discipline or your hard work they have wanted to like eat from what you have earned okay they have wanted to like st- steal from your creativity or they are afraid of your your success intimidated by your success intimidated by your discipline intimidated by your hard working energy intimidated by your risk taking abilities okay even your lovers could have been like this your exes yeah so you gave up on love you were like okay i don't have to care about love i don't have to care about my emotions but i will keep taking risks towards my happiness towards my loved ones and how to make them happy and how to make myself happy how to reach that happy place even though sometimes i feel down and out but that doesn't mean i'm going to be permanently over there and you start fresh again like you start brand new again you don't care about like the failures as long as you keep going right so yeah like i was saying actually there's room cleaning going on in my room right now so um that's why i had to like pause and you know let her know that um to kind of close the door because there's a lot of noise in the reading all right so yeah yeah people are threatened by this even your lovers are threatened by your success your family your you know people could be just threatened by this they they are intimidated by this all right so you could be pile uh one you could be cancer you could be aries aquarius you could be sagittarius you could also be uh, aquarius gemini libra okay a uh, taurus leo scorpio as well pile one all right so this is what i have for you pile one let me know in the comments down below damn like nothing can beat you down pile one have you experienced this like have you experienced people just trying to take from you because of this people just trying to like blame you for certain things because of this um you taking too much time for your own endeavors your own success and when you become lonely that's a problem but when you are with them they start like you know blaming you or they start pa- being passive aggressive towards you so you had to be alone to like discipline yourself so people are never happy in some way and you are trying to make sure that you reach the state of happiness no matter what where you are neutral you know in your success and your failures and this is something that really threatens people pile 1 let me know in the comments like this is interesting all right also i'm hearing something about like your car okay or your assets people are threatened by your assets or your success or your like achievements as well okay your success and your fame or whatever people are threatened by that okay yeah so let me know pile one in the comments all right do like share and subscribe you can do that you know to support my channel to support my work 
it really helps me a lot all right palwan so thank you so much my loves and peace all right so pile 2 let's dive into your message and see why do people feel threatened by you pile 2 what about you makes people threatened by you why do people feel threatened by pile 2 spirit why do people feel threatened okay we have hopeful and we have excited in reverse wow interesting pile okay pile 2 you know what people are threatened by your optimism people are threatened by your faith okay so you are a very faithful person you are someone who has a lot of faith in you you are always expecting for the best outcomes you are always giving benefit of the doubt to the universe i'm hearing like you always give the universe the benefit of the doubt in some way right that's what i'm hearing interesting um you're someone who is you know it's like there are some people who when they do manifestations right they will plant their seeds and they will keep watching it to see if it's growing to see if something's working to see if there are signs that the manifestation is close to them um that things are happening for them right but you on the other end pile two you are someone who just plants your seeds and forgets about it you just let universe handle everything that you have manifested and you know that it's going to come back to you times 10 times 100 whatever you know but you have a lot of faith that no matter what you will never fall you will always rise like you will always come out of situations with a lot of wisdom with a lot of um lessons learned you know with a lot of earned knowledge that you deserve out of those experiences so you're always hopeful you're always looking at the bright side of things you're always optimistic about what's to come next and the universe in a way mirrors that back to you okay so maybe you are someone who has had to have a lot of faith because of the traumas or the kind of initial beginnings that you have had in your life where there was nothing else to rely upon but faith where there was nothing else to rely upon but you know uh, a lot of trust in the universe a lot of um surrendering to the universe that no matter what the divine will take care of me you know no matter what the divine will support me the divine will provide for me right so there's a lot of positivity in your aura in your energy your heart chakra is booming it's i'm i'm hearing it's like um it's glowing or it's it's coming back online okay after a long time of you doing this consistently okay um but it's like people are threatened by this pile too that no matter what you have gone through in your life that you always see the glass half full you never see it half empty you never see situations in your life that have happened to destroy you you never see them as threatening to you you see them as like stepping stools to success stepping stones to success right um you use those things you use your own pain to create your success you use your own agony your own suffering to create a level of balance within yourself that cannot be shaken that cannot be um taken from you right and you know that through these experiences whatever you have learned can never be taken from you it can never be destroyed it can never be stolen it's something within you right so wow pile do you are definitely my like very very uh, spiritually um attuned people okay even if you don't feel like that or you don't think you are that for some of you right you are that okay you are that like the divine is saying that that is the reason why you have always been hopeful no matter how harsh the circumstances have been how bad or how destructive people have been towards you right i feel like people have been very pessimistic towards you in fact people have like shown you reasons to be depressed people have given you reasons to be depressed in life people have given you reasons to lose faith in god in divine or in in the goodness in life in the positivity in life people have given you reasons to give up on your faith to give up on the divine 
right to give up on the universe in fact people have given you reasons to curse the universe people have given reasons for you to um abuse you know the deities or whatever it may be that you believe in right people have given you reasons to give up on yourself but it's like you are still hopeful and expectant of more positive things to come in the future like you never think that whatever was your setback was in a way um hurting you it was only for you to learn a lesson about something so you take every bad thing that happens to you as a learning lesson and people are threatened by that like people get threatened by you constantly being positive about everything negative in your life you constantly being hopeful about everything hopeless in your life people are threatened by that and i feel like with this excited in reverse people have never encouraged you to be your best self you had to do that for yourself people were never excited when you shared your good news with them they were internally very envious and jealous of you even though you have gone through enough even you have, even if you have gone through a lot in your life pile too people have always inwardly been jealous of the good news that came to you even though you never had so much so when you did people should have been happy but internally people have felt jealous people have felt like unenthusiastic about it like people have felt like why should you get this why should you receive this but they don't see that you never had that in the first place so when you did like it was very very um i don't know what it like it it it's it came from a pure place of you wanting it and you letting it go right being hopeful about it but not obsessed about it and you got it and you keep getting things like this because of your attitude and people are jealous of this like people get threatened by like how hopeful you are and how how excited you are about your opportunities but at the same time it's like at times you have to hide your excitement because now you have realized that you know people can be like this you know and it's very sad pile three, pile two interesting some of you could have some messages in pile three as well but yeah it's very sad that people can like be triggered in this way instead of thinking that they can have their own hope you know in when they feel lost when they feel sad when they feel broken on the inside just like you have pile two at times they can have their own hope too they should learn from you pile two but then again they feel threatened by like why do they have to learn from you some of this could be some of these people could be your parents or your grandparents you know they could feel like they are too old and that you should never argue with them or that you should always like respect them and never like see them as wrong but everyone has light and shadow in them and you accept that you accept their flaws for what it is that that threatens people too like that you accept their flaws you accept people's dark and light shadow and light that threatens people people are threatened because then it's like nothing can stop you from being positive nothing can stop you from from yeah from from achieving your success your awards your recognition your success your fame your accolades nothing can stop you from from achieving this that's why people feel threatened because nothing actually can stop you from receiving your blessings okay because you know that you deserve it okay and so you have learned how to contain your excitement especially when you achieve something you just feel inwardly proud of yourself or like you feel inwardly thankful for the divine or you pray to the divine or you thank the divine i'm seeing you like write gratitude list every day or you should okay and that will help you but people feel threatened by that by how grateful you are for everything you have in life by how humble you are for your achievements and accomplishments that you don't have to show off or brag about it okay yeah you are very wise pile to even if you are like 27 you have wisdom of like a 48 year old of a 50 year old in that 27 year old body for example right just giving an example so even if when you were young pile to like you had a lot of knowledge that you could have like just said it you know um without any like forethought you could have said a lot of things and you could have stunned people people felt threatened by you when you were since you were very young okay since you were very young they saw your light 
pile two. Okay. So let's see pile two spirit. Why do people feel threatened by pile pile two? We have overwhelmed in reverse. Oh my goodness, you won't believe the other card here, right here. Um, overwhelmed in reverse, and at the bottom we have. What was I telling you? Pile two, grateful. No matter what you have, even if you have a little bit of food on the table, you thank it. You send prayers into it. You send goodness into it. You send positive energy into it. You know, you're so so grateful. You know that there are people who are in worse conditions in the world than you. So whatever you have, you get it because you know that you have worked for it and you deserve it. And even if people around you are not happy about your success, you're grateful for that. I feel like you're grateful that, you know, that people don't actually accept your success or happiness because at the end of the day, that has taught you to be more humble. That has taught you to never take anything for granted. That has taught you to be the best version of yourself in a way. Okay. Oh wow, this is beautiful. Okay. and with the overwhelm in reverse like i feel like no matter how many responsibilities you have in your life um you have learned this beautiful balance of not taking on more than you can operate with not taking on more than not biting off more than you can chew something like that is what i'm hearing um yeah i feel like you have you have a way of releasing your burdens very easily so either you don't take on too much or you delegate responsibilities to others that they need to handle because at the end of the day you have realized that there are some people who will never see you how you see yourself and that's all right that's okay because they have their own lessons to learn through this and you're grateful for that you're grateful that spirit is there guiding everyone at the end of the day so it's not just you who's like a special one everyone is being guided in one way or another such a beautiful pile oh my goodness pile two i just want to tell you all i love y'all okay genuinely yeah such purity in your heart okay we have the wheel okay some of you could be coming from pile one here yeah people are threatened by your how how lucky you are in life like how you get certain things that you have people feel that you're lucky people don't see the struggles the traumas that you've been through pile to and they are lucky you know i wanted to like um, have a collective message on this download as well that people just feel jealous people just feel threatened by what others have right but they don't see what the others had to go through to get that everyone's journey has been different for their own energy of success for their own energy of receiving this wheel of fortune where they are on the up up and up right but they haven't seen the amount of failures that those people had to go through the amount of times that those people have had to have faith within their themselves mm. to go through those challenges and come out on top right there were times when there was no food on the table when there was no food on the table so whatever you could get you would be praying on that you would you would be happy for that right so i feel like people feel that now that you're getting your success or now that you know you're getting opportunities that you're lucky so yeah people feel that you're lucky and like i was saying that people don't see like the inner workings of how much a person has had to go without food without a home without something you know comfortable without things that are daily necessities but are required for survival how many people have had to do that right but when they come out on top people see just the success or people just see like what a brilliant person that is but they don't see what to, what it took to be that brilliant right um people don't see like even in wealthy families like when a child is born in a wealthy family or when a child is transferred to a wealthy family or something like that they don't see like the way that that child could be manipulated or controlled or um abused you know they don't see that they just see the wealth and the name of the family or the fame of the family or whatever it may be they just see the outward appearance of what looks good 
and they feel that they should be jealous of that not knowing that they are cursing themselves that was a download i was getting for the collective as well that they are cursing themselves to live that in the next lifetime okay so yeah and i don't see you cursing anyone you're very very grateful and thankful for what you have but i feel like th- i got this download because i'm a capricorn okay i have very strong saturn in my chart and saturn rules karam right so i can feel how the inner workings of karam works on people it's just a feeling and it's an experience that i've had to go through myself to be able to see the inner workings of how karam attacks people you know when it has to and so people just see the outward appearance of success but not what karam they did what seeds they planted also in their past lives to be able to achieve this level of temperance this level of balance within themselves right and people curse themselves people bring on bad karam to themselves by envying other people by comparing themselves to other people right that is very very strong in the collective but regardless people feel threatened by this people feel you're lucky that opportunities just fall in your lap pile to that you just get whatever you wish for hope for okay and you don't even show it to people because you want to keep all your blessings to yourself that's how people see this people see that you know you don't want to like share your baggage with people or you keep everything hidden um but it's because you don't want to burden other people you don't want to like burden other people with what you have gone through because you have transmuted it you have gone to god about it or you have gone to the universe about it right so the universe is taking care of you now because you went to the universe when no one else was there to support you when no one else was there to protect you you went to the you went to the divine you went to the universe and the universe is now your protector the universe is now your provider right and people are threatened by this that how can they attack the universe now now that the universe is for you <laughs> or something like that pile to all right interesting so pile to let's see pile to spirit what are people threatened about by pile when back in again let's see yeah we have four of cups pile to spirit we have wow we have the stars beautiful look at the wisdom uh, wasn't i telling you y'all are very wise old soul and see the owls here right star some of you could be aquarius very strong aquarius energy coming through yeah A- aquarius is also the energy of hope and faith having faith that no matter what happens you are taken care of by the universe okay and there are like uh, owl owl spirit is taking care of you supporting you okay giving you a lot of wisdom to see in the dark okay people are threatened by this people cannot outsmart the owl here for some reason the spirit guide of owl okay something about four of cups as well so it's telling me that people are threatened by every time you feel down right every time you are looking down like you have had a, a something go down in your life which has been painful which has been um which has hurt you you know you still keep having faith and hope that there's a brighter tomorrow that there's a better tomorrow that people will be better to you that circumstances will be better for you okay and your luck can change at any time but it's your internal hope that will keep the fire ignited or that will keep your um your blessings coming back to you again and again okay that's what i'm seeing here yeah so pile 2 my goodness i feel like pile 2 people are very threatened by you because somewhere yeah uh, pile 2 there's been like extreme interruptions in your reading so um i'm not able to really focus on the reading which is interesting but i'm going to continue all right if there's any more messages here regarding you being threatened uh, like wh- how people are threatened by you and why people are threatened right so it's like people are threatened because it's like you are the master of your destiny and you know when to let people into your life and you know when to like disconnect from people in your life in order to like you know go about your goals and you're very very faithful and optimistic and excited and you don't burden other people with your own excitement 
you don't burden people with your optimism and hope especially when people don't need it okay and people get like very addicted to your energy people get addicted to your light so they want to like constantly be around you constantly try to like um see how they can come up with sly ideas to manipulate you or to like steal from you or to take from you but you don't let them do that because you're like a fierce warrior okay look at her look right like she's fierce when it comes to like someone trying to like take her down but she's also someone who's welcoming mm-hmm. at the same time but she's only welcoming to people who up are open and are not intimidated by her success by her journey okay that's what i'm seeing so people are threatened by this people feel threatened that how dare you pile to do you think you are better than us do you think you have more knowledge than us well you do pile to but you don't show it off and that is also what threatens people like how are you not even showing this off so that we can target you and we can then bully you again but that's because again you have learned from your mistakes that every time you share your knowledge that either people don't want to listen to it or people just want to take your knowledge and use it against you something like that you have learned your lessons okay and so you are also in a way you are breaking out of your cycle of depression that people caused in your life because of you being surrounded by people who are like traumatized who are themselves like hurt so they hurt others in the process you are coming out of that cycle and you are being the cycle breaker here and people are threatened by you being the cycle breaker of your family you being the black sheep of your family you are a cycle breaker all right that's what i'm hearing okay so pile to let me know in the comments down below who you guys are this could be a, a cancer pisces scorpio sagittarius aquarius we have a sagittarius again very strong sagittarius energy aquarius as well we have a gemini libra as well aries leo as well okay very strong energy is here and you have a soulmate coming in as well my goodness they're so in awe of you there's a person who is like in awe of you okay they want to eat you up pile to okay so let me know who you guys are pile to all right so thank you so much pile to do like share comment and subscribe and let me know in the comments like how are you going to deal with these people how do you deal with such people pile to how are you hopeful how how do you do this okay you're like a miracle worker in my eyes literally okay the way you do this so let me know how you do it okay i'm really intrigued by this pile to all right and check out my description box for my services my loves and thank you so much for tuning in peace all right so pile 3 pile 3 why are people threatened by pile 3 oh we have respectful damn it's because of the respect that is on your name okay first of all like there's no denying that people have to respect you when you are around them there's no denying the fact that you have earned your respect that you have earned it with your diligence with your persistence okay and there's something very courteous about you something that everyone admires about you something that everyone respects about you they put respect on your name like pal 3 i respect them i respect their integrity i respect their morals okay something about respect like your ability to master yourself i'm hearing because i'm seeing your like uh, sports right um karate or i don't know what this is but something about like uh, martial arts right like you train hard you go hard at yourself you train hard towards yourself you're very very respectful to others as well you do not mistreat others you do not disrespect others because you know how it feels to be disrespected pile 3 okay so you don't do that to others you're very very kind very courteous um you're very giving to people but you're also someone who um who takes time to give their respect but when you do it means a lot i'm hearing like when respect comes from you it means a lot to people okay and people are threatened by this <laughs> damn like people man this is what i just don't understand sometimes like what's your problem like pile 3 pile 3 has earned their respect 
Paltri deserves their respect. What's your problem with that? God damn it. Right? Let's see. Fulfilled. Now, there you go. Fulfilled. Okay? Wow. You know what? Paltri, it's like because of how people respect you, because of everything that you have been through, okay? And that has made you who you are. And you keep going, right? And you are very courteous. You are very deferential, right? You are very, very... um. I'm also seeing like humble, right? So you're not someone who is like very proud or like arrogant, right? You're not very arrogant about what you have achieved, but you know that people have to come to you correctly. And if they don't, you have like, you have certain boundaries that you place on people, you know, to like keep like a boundary, you know, um, because you know that there are people who just want to come in your garden and steal your stars or something like that. Like people just want to come and like, like be next to you. You could be a star, literally. You could be like uh, someone who people, uh, others respect or others really admire. You could be like in the public eye as well, or you are about to be. Okay. And people see that and people are threatened by that. Okay. People are threatened by your star quality. People are threatened by your uniqueness, your originality, People are threatened by your persistence. Okay. People want others to disrespect you. Like people want to put you down in some way. Like you're not all that that you think you are. Okay. Because you're very fulfilled. Yeah. People feel powerless in front of you. Yeah. That's what it is. Pile. Damn. Hmm. Yes. That is what it is. Pile three. Okay damn people feel paralyzed in front of you i'm telling you there's the reason why people respect you is because if they don't respect you they feel like (laughs) you might tie them up or something (laughs) yeah people um again with the martial arts you could be like a great fighter or like but you don't do it to hurt others i'm hearing like you do it to protect yourself to protect your loved ones to train hard and to go hard because some of you could be like Bruce Lee fans or something like that, you know. You do it to like, to maintain others respect who you are protecting, okay. So you could be in the military or you could be someone who is like in higher positions of military or navy or whatever, right. Something like that or you could be like into any kind of athletic sports, martial arts, doesn't have to be though okay you could be like very good at what you do everything you touch like turns into something that you have achieved in your life okay and there's a lot more that you're collecting there's a lot that you wish for and you collect them all by like being persistent towards it okay people feel powerless when it comes to like trying to control you because again you are wearing your martial arts suit like you're ready to like yeah (laughs) you know you're ready to like fight people off or make people feel powerless okay you have techniques to like shut people's mouth without them even realizing you have shut them up or <laughs> something like that okay you're very like quick-witted you're very um crafty you're cunning in a good way i'm hearing you're cunning in a good way and people are threatened by that okay people are threatened by like no matter what you always get your wishes fulfilled yeah people are disgusted or something okay interesting people Yeah, people like want to spread like lies about you or gossip about you or spread some like disgust about your name so that people can disrespect you. Others can disrespect you or put some shame on your name in some way. Okay. And you keep like going for your goals no matter what. Like you're like talk to the hand and you're you're off doing your thing, achieving your goals, conquering your obstacles, you know, being the best version of yourself you just keep going people are like powerless you are very decisive people are powerless about like your decisiveness and people feel threatened by that like how decisive you are okay again the disgusted card came out i'm telling you yeah you know what i'm hearing pile three it's like people are threatened by like how quickly you achieve success when you put your mind to it because again it's like you're learning the balance of like respecting others but at the same time being humble and at the same time like 
having a lot of self worth self confidence having a lot of like confidence within yourself to achieve whatever it is that you want okay and you have a lot of wishes right and people want to put like dirt on your name like people want to say that you're trash or that you earned your success through dirty means or you fought your way to the top like you like um, i don't know like did something on your way to the top like did bad deeds or um hurt others your way to the top or something like that but you never did that you're a very respectful person i can see that in your cards okay people are threatened by your success pile 3 people are threatened people are jealous of how fulfilled you are in life okay yeah let's see at the bottom yeah desperate i'm telling you pile 3 people are desperate to get to you and they can't get to you they can't get to your level because you are achieving your stars like you are achieving your goals you are achieving your um your wishes your desires your dreams you're after them you know and it's like you have you had to like take a lot of time to train to like focus right i'm hearing your focus your focus is something that people get threatened by like every time you're focusing on something people are threatened like people just start talking ish about your name about like uh, drowning your name in dirt like i don't know some people could even do like spells against you okay like uh, like talk bad on like something that they have which is linked to you and and nothing happens to you like you train even harder after that <laughs> pile 3 you are the real kung fu master i'm hearing yeah you're the you're the kung fu master you're the jedi here all right people are desperate to have your power like people are thirsty to have your power the level of power that you have okay it says you're frantic out of control in need yeah people get desperate for your help for your for your um for your aid for your assistance people become desperate for that okay but yet these people who are desperate for you are also like disgusted by you behind closed doors and they are threatened because whatever you do you do with a lot of respect you do it with a lot of integrity and morality in your heart you don't do it to cheat other people out of their money you don't do it to like hurt others put others down in order to be successful because you know that there's a lot more that people can have because you see how this lady is like plucking from the stars right and she's collecting hers but there are many others that she's leaving for others like there are many others behind there's infinite amount of stars god damn it everyone can have their own that's how you you think like everyone deserves abundance everyone deserves money everyone deserves success love respect and you put respect on people's names but people try to like disrespect you or put you down okay because they are desperate to reach your level desperate to reach your level of um humility your level of you know how much you like admire others they want to like be admired by you yeah that's what i'm hearing like people want to be admired by you so they go about it in the worst ways to like intimidate you in some way but then they are also scared for their life <laughs> like they uh, yeah i'm hearing people in your life they throw rocks and hide their hand they don't want to show you exactly who they are even though they are your enemy like they don't want to show you they are your enemy they want to show you that they really respect you in front of you they want to bow down to you they want to say like they admire you and respect your work and but they trash talk you behind your back okay people are threat people are threatened by like how can you fulfill all your wishes so quickly indecision in reverse yeah you are extremely decisive and people are threatened by that courage in reverse people don't have the courage to face you because you are very courageous you are very brave people are threatened by your courage and your bravery people are threatened by how courageous you are in the face of obstacles in the face of challenges you are the person who would like stand in front of an old lady who is being attacked for theft like you would stand in between like you would be like yes try me first you have to go through me first before you touch this old lady you are that person pal 3 god damn it i love you all pal 3 let's see pal 3 pal 3 spirit why are people threatened by pal 3 humor in reverse yeah you're a very serious person damn pal 3 you're a very serious person you have a poker face all the time like you don't give others your like 
your reactions because you know that people are feeding off of it okay some of you could have done some research on like narcissist and all that so you know that people like can feed off of your like emotional ups and downs and all of that so you have like contained your emotions and with such hard training some of you could have been in military like i said or hard harsh training some of you could be into gymming extreme gymming or whatever right like you love to keep fit okay and that fitness helps you like manifest your desires and goals okay and you're very serious about that and that is what threatens people like do you think you're better than us pile three like do you think that just because you're serious that people have to like be respectful to you yeah just because no one can make you laugh or no one can like um distract you from your fulfillment from from your goals you think you're better than us yeah you see how the focus word is here focus right i was telling you people are threatened by our focus right but this is in reverse so people want to distract you with this this gossip and this trash talking over you people are desperate for your attention yeah because they want you to be peaceful in reverse <laughs> okay they are also attacking your love life so that you don't find your partner someone who is just like you who has morals and integrity just like you okay but i see you attracting a lover someone who is going to be just as equally like a power couple i'm hearing you're meant to be in a power couple okay and people are like serious about this people have stopped smiling about this now because they know that there's a lover who's coming in your life that will also be one of your wishes fulfilled okay <laughs> damn pile three let's see pile three spirit why are people threatened by pile three <laughs> pile three are very intimidating for sure okay let's see pile three spirit grief okay it wanted to come up right why are people threatened by pile three yeah people people like literally sob when they see you fulfilling your wishes like people hate you a lot there are a lot of haters you have pile three and you know this that's why you train harder like you think of your enemies faces and you train harder like you you train for kickboxing and you imagine your enemies face yeah and people like feel those attacks even though you're not punching them they feel them energetically and you fulfill your wishes by doing that you're like yes i'm punching you and they feel like disgusted by you and they start trash talking you and then they grieve okay because they are scared of your threats or you know how you can like take them down in in like a split second i'm hearing in the blink of an eye you can take a person down or something like that so they are scared of you but threatened courage in reverse but it wanted to come up right i'm hearing okay yeah it's your courage pile 3 at the bottom of the deck acceptance in reverse they don't want to accept how courage courageous you are they don't want to accept how you go about your day without emotionally reacting to the struggles and the pain in your life but you take the pain and you use it to work out or something like that like you transmute your pain through your exercise through being healthy through um putting yourself out there through being courageous in fulfilling your goals right you have a lot of inner strength and confidence in yourself to face all your fears and this makes like people threatened to the point that they feel like crying or they feel like how can they stop you like how can i stop paltri like paltri just doesn't want to listen like paltri is not touched by what i'm doing and paltri is just keeping on like collecting all their wishes oh my goodness paltri yeah yeah <laughs> yeah so people are like very defeated okay people feel defeated by you in every aspect of their life i'm hearing every aspect okay because of your integrity your morality and you being a fighter on top of that like you're a fighter i'm hearing <laughs> devil i'm telling you pal three you're not scared of the dark i'm hearing you welcome it ooh you welcome it pile 3 yeah you welcome it that's what i'm hearing let's see wow we have six of cups pile 3 spirit 
we have emperor mm. big daddy energy big daddy energy pal three i'm telling you all i'm channeling a very like a strong masculine energies in this pile like strong masculine okay nothing shakes you you have gone to the depths of hell and you have made friends with your own demons i'm telling you like now you have spikes in your like aura like man the amount of training you have done i i see you pile three okay i see that ripped body i see that i see you pile three you look very hot and sexy and people are kind of like trying to be disgusted by that but how can they right how can they be disgusted by this like damn pile three right could be a scorpio capricorn very strongly could be an aquarius you could be a uh, aries as well you could be a uh, gemini virgo as well okay magician look at you look at you masculine here pile 3 okay doesn't have to be you're a masculine but oh my goodness i don't want to show this card because that would be censored but yeah you're you're like the macho masculine energy like and if you're talking about uh, you being a female pile 3 like you're attracting a masculine like this and that is like one of your wishes which is coming true okay you're attracting like a macho masculine someone who can protect you can defend you okay is very respectful to others is very kind courteous generous admires others for their success admires others for their achievements and knows that there is a lot for everyone out there right is very courageous and in times of grief they will never leave your side they will always stick by you they will always be your soulmate always be next to you right fighting for you not fighting with you and even if they fight with you they know that at the end of the day you are on the same team and it's like maybe you all will have a ritual of like bowing down to each other whenever you all get too angry or something like that because you all are on the same team maybe this person learned something in the navy or in like martial arts or something where you're supposed to be humble and bow down okay pay respects to each other I don't know what this is, all right? <laughs> pile three, but pile three. If you're a woman, then all of this applies. Just take it as you being a woman, right? Like you're very, very. You're a go getter, right? You're very respectful, and people respect you. Um, people can count on you. People can trust you, right? And other people are threatened by that. People are threatened by your success, your wish fulfillments, mm. and your satisfaction, and your self actualization, and your self realization. they are revolted by this they are repelled by this right pal three yeah cancer pisces scorpio can also be the zodiac signs for you guys so let me know in the comments pal three damn that was a deep pal right there let me know in the comments i really want to hear from you all like what's going on because pal threes are usually always very deep in my readings but sometimes i'm like okay this one must be lighter but no it's always deep all right so let me know pal three in the comments like how do you deal with this like how do you deal with people just you know being threatened just because you are working on your goals you're working on your body you're working on things to fulfill your desires your goals your wishes how do you deal with such people damn people just be threatened just like that people just be disgusted just like that you know because they see others winning they see others fulfilling their wishes not knowing that they are cursing themselves in the process okay it's sad really for them not for you though you keep winning pile three with all this beautiful courage that you use for the goodness of humanity god bless you pile three all right thank you so much pile three for tuning in and peace